Hey everyone, let's paint a happy little hillside. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint and a blemish Santorini stone, some Posca pens, and uh, some dotting tools. So I'm just taking a look for something circular that I wanna make the sun with, and I found that a little craft paint bottle was a perfect size. Trace that around with a pencil, and I have a primary blue and baby blue. Let's get some of that out. We're gonna build our sky. I'm gonna leave the sun in the middle plain and I'm just gonna go around my circle. So let's get our brush wet first and uh, grab some of the light baby blue. I like wet paint because it doesn't leave that hard line uh, where it becomes three dimensional. So sorry about this, that I'll go a little bit off cam here while I'm trying to get the edges. Um, so I'm just taking care of the whole sky. It's painted in. I want to leave the um, bottom part white. And then let's do a little circle like we're going to get uh, some darker color here in the sky, but I want to leave that light in the center. So let's wash that off a little bit. Let's get some more baby blue and go right around the center and then that's going to give us our blending. I'm sure you're like, oh my gosh, Shelly, this is a mess. It is, but it's going to look better. All great artists do layers, and that's what we're doing today. So I like that. I'm going to hair dry that. I'm going to blow dry it, make sure that that's dry, because I don't want my Posca pens going into this. Well, it looks pretty good. Now let's dry it a little bit more. Super fast speed. Okay. I'm going to use my golden uh, yellow really like this one uh, it is bright and beautiful but you use whatever colors you want maybe you want it to be a moon and you want to leave it white that's cool too so there we go it's kind of easier for me with a flat brush to kind of turn my arm and leave the brush and that kind of makes a straighter edge and then i'm going to add some more yellow and make that as bright as possible and fix this little raggedy part and there we go Alrighty, let's blow dry that. And of course, every time I'm using the hairdryer, I'm picking up my plate because I don't want to dry out my paints. Okie dokie. Let's let all that dry. And then I came back. I've got four Posca pens, uh, two greens and two browns, which the darker brown I ended up not using because I didn't want it to be too dark after I saw the light one. So let's do some blades of grass and let's kind of make them in different directions because they all don't go the same way, right? And of course this is super speedy, but I'm just going over this and over this. So I wanna dry this off a little bit and see if it's gonna still stay, stay bold over top of that uh, blue. And I'm just gonna keep on putting some more layers in here to give it some thickness. This is still the original light green. So let's go in with some brown and then our darker green. So if you need to like squish your Posca down, you can go ahead and do this at the bottom because we're gonna fill that in and you won't even see it. So I'm just keeping, uh, keep doing my layers here just to thicken it. And let's dry it out. Looks good. All right, so let's go back with our light green Make it a little more thick, dark green. Okay, now we have a darker green acrylic paint by Liquitex. Super great paint. Got mine at Joann's. So let's just go across here. Um, sorry, I'm off camera trying to get my edges here. I don't really like to leave the edges white. Um, sometimes if that's my design, then that's the way I do it, but usually I do the uh, sides too. So here we go with a darker green and a lighter green. Oops, let's get the side and we're done. So I wanna make this a little bit darker so you can't see where I stopped the blue. And I'm gonna add some light green I'm just gonna kind of go over this until I'm happy with it. I wanna make sure that it looks um, thick and I don't want um, any of my stuff underneath showing, so I'm gonna keep going. 
I also don't like this hard edge. So let's bring that down a little bit and try to get that three-dimensional line. Well, let's see what it all looks like if we go that way. Mm, no, I don't like it. Let's go sideways. Let's keep adding green until you have what you like. Alrighty, so I was planning on putting um, a little squirt of the, each one of these colors out, but I thought, hey, why waste paint? We're going to be using dotting tools. So let's just use the inside of the lid. So I'm just going to add some random flowers around here. Does it have to be neat, perfect? Absolutely not. We're just having fun doing art. This one's called Orange Twist by Americana. You can just kind of squidge that off with a napkin. Bubblegum pink is one of my favorites. Same thing here, just random dots. All right, so I'm going to grab a little bit of the yellow that I use for the sun because it's so gorgeous and that paint is so wet. Here's where I grabbed a teal. And I was like, whoops, can't see that. So that's not a good idea. So let's can that and keep going. How about white? Perfect. And here's some golden red. This one's beautiful. All right, let's get that dry. Hey, by the way, are you drinking your water? I care about you. So, Risa showed us this giant jug of glitter glue, thank you, by Sargent. Um, you can find this on Amazon by typing Sargent Glitter Glue. They even have gallon sizes. So I'm just going to add some of these uh, little glitter pieces around just to give it some sparkle. Okay, well that's not enough, but then I ended up <laughs> pouring like a whole shot glass worth, so I have mega glitter now, so I didn't intend to do all that, but that stuff is really liquid. I figure, you know, I got a whole bunch now. I may as well put some in the sky. <laughs> Let's just wing it and have fun with it. Who cares? It's just art. Lots of glitter. All right, let's dry that off. Uh, may as well, since we've got all this glitter out, let's just do some more. You can just glitter it up until you're happy. Let's dry that out a little bit. I even glittered my finger. Okay, so I'm just going to add some little random lines. Let's have fun with it. Let's do some shaky lines and some inconsistencies and just kind of give it that, hey, this is the world spinning look. I think it's kind of cool. Um, if you are a shaky Shirley like I am, this is right up your alley because these don't have to be perfect. It's, we're just having fun. I have... Um, shaky hands sometimes and being that I'm trying really hard on camera not to put my hand through wet paint so they're not turning out super super uh straight and that's okay too so let's put a couple co Posca colors in there it's just the ones that we use for the grass just random lines doesn't have to be uniform in any way I like how it's looking 
And I'm just realizing that I don't have my beloved Posca 1MR, but that's okay because I have a uni ball. Let's roll. So we're just gonna do the same thing we did in the grass, just random lines. Doesn't have to be uniform, you can make it how you want it. That's the cool thing about art. And I'm gonna do one uh, right around this light blue. I don't really have a plan here, I'm kinda just winging it and having fun. That's what art is about. So I'm gonna do the same thing with white. Usually when I'm using black or white, you see the other one accompany because I just love them. Those are the best. Just going all the way around my black lines. And voila, we're done. Happy painting. I hope you paint along. And I hope you have fun. Thank you.